Hi, I'm Alden Hamilton with Black Cross Military Collectibles. Um, welcome to um, the newest video update. Just wanted to tell you real quickly, um, check into our site tomorrow, that's Sunday the 21st of February, for the new update. Gotta tell you, it's going to be a great update. There's nearly 100 new items, so make sure you check in with us. Let me show you a couple of pieces. Uh, not all of these are going to be updated on this update Sunday. Quite a few of them will be. But um, let me show you this in the genuine category. Something you rarely see is a German Red Cross enlisted ranks uh, M36 tunic. All of the um, insignia, collar tabs, armband, and then the district sleeve, they call it a triangle patch. Uh, all of the insignia is original to the to the uniform. Real nice piece. You never see these. Very very uncommon. Um, this is a Kriegsmarine um, female signals volunteer or Helferin um, overseas cap. Very rare item. Notice that unlike um, the male counterpart for the overseas cap for the Navy, uh, it, this one for the female is um, piped in yellow cord, yellow wool. Really a beautiful piece. Uh, also cut a little bit differently than the male type simply because uh, this had to fit over a whole lot of hair uh, which was typically you know pulled up on the top of the head. Speaking of Kriegsmarine, here's a really rare article. Uh, this is a Kriegsmarine um, sailors uh, service jumper, the wool type, the winter type. Uh, this insignia is machine applied or sewn on. It's for a torpedo. They call it a torpedo mechanic. It's really a torpedo, torpedo man or a crewman. NCO, uh, chevrons, really nice um, machine applied breast eagle. And it's also uh, marked on the, they're always marked on the inside at the, uh, along the base with the proper Kriegsmarine B-A-K markings and date, which is the German Navy issue markings. Let me show you this thing real quick. This is an M42, um, yeah, an M42 camouflage helmet. Came to us recently. I had an opportunity to show it around quite a bit. Boy, I'll tell you, it's convincing. Uh, some guys think that, some experts think that it is a fake. Uh, all faked up and redone. I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, obviously, it's done up with an American um, insignia or emblem. This is for the 601 Tank Destroyer Battalion. Uh, it's dated 1944, Provence, France. Beautiful helmet. Um, still not really sure about this one. Some guys say that it's bad or or very good, let's put it that way, reproduction, but thought I'd pass that on to you, let, it, let you see it. Speaking of another repro, this is a um, 1960s vintage railway car eagle, and it is impressive, properly cast, it's now aged, really nicely toned, it has all the right markings um, scattered around in different places, dated down here. Um, these were made in the 60s. I remember when these came out when I was a kid. Uh, they were intended to deceive, and they're still out there in the market being sold as original, unfortunately. Let me show you some caps real quick. These are all reproductions. Look at this wonderful pile of caps. Kriegsmarine um, service um, cap. Can't say I've ever seen one of these reproduction. This one's for the battleship uh, Panzerschiff uh, Graf Spee. Wonderful um, copy. This magnificent general officer's visor cap uh, was intended, obviously, when it was made to be deceptive, to be sold as real. It is uh, arguably of the finest quality. It is really spectacular. Um, as is this reproduction intended to deceive, again, Luftwaffe, a rail marked um, crusher, has a semi flexible leather uh, visor, uh, really nicely a rail marked on the inside to the Luftwaffe, to the Luftwaffe clothing or 
it's that uh, marking that's found on Arel caps that the cap was tailored and approved for use by the Luftwaffe. Speaking of Luftwaffe, really, really nice white top visor, officer's visor cap. Um, kind of old and intended, too, to look very much like it's real. Um, as is this Luftwaffe general officer's visor cap. Spectacular. Um, again, the quality of the insignia and the workmanship is unparalleled, to say the least. One more. This is a general, uh, general officer's visor cap. Luftwaffe, another early fake, probably from the 60s, a rel marked. You don't see these around much anymore. Um, so that kind of covers it on a few items. I wanted to show you one other thing. This is really neat. This wallet is pierced all the way through it with a shrapnel hole. Um, my, my dad uh, had this wallet uh, in his back pocket. He was badly wounded in France in, uh, in late 1944. There, there uh, is a hole that pierces the wallet all the way through it. I don't know if you can see that. But it also pierces the contents of the wallet, including uh, a 1944 dated uh, calendar with a hole through it. Really kind of neat. Um, a check made out to, the, to a guy at the officer's mess of the 104th Infantry. A check for $100, by the way, which was an awful lot of dough back then. I don't know what my dad was doing writing checks for that, but... Anyway, got a hole all the way through it. And then lastly, his individual pay record um, with a hole through it. And it's interesting, right there on the bottom in his handwriting, it says, but I did. It's really weird. I don't know what that means. Or The only thing I can suspect is that, uh, and that's my dad's handwriting, that he was in a place where he couldn't talk. Um, someone asked him if he did something, and he passed this on down the line. But I did. No other reason why you would write that on his paybook. But anyway, just thought you'd like to see that. I've had this since I was a kid. It's a cherished item. It was in his back pocket, and he got sprayed with shrapnel from a tree burst. Anyway, that covers it. Please let us know on Facebook that you like us. That's really important because these videos are a lot of fun to do, and I want to keep doing them, okay? So stay in touch. Happy collecting. Give us a call or email us if you need something, okay? Thanks.